Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome to the Settlers New Allies. It is finally out today, February 17th and yeah, well, of course we're not going to hesitate and we were jumping right into this uh, game that we'll see how it is actually. Uh, we have uh, a few options available right now as starters. Uh, we can start a campaign, we can also play some skirmishes, a tutorial, have a look at the in-game shop. Um, with the skirmishes, the interesting thing is that we have a new mode that wasn't there in the beta and that is uh, the hardcore mode as well. So that is kind of like um, a challenge where you can survive and build up a big city and stuff like that. I think that is really interesting and we're definitely going to have a look at that at some point. But I think for starters, let's have a look at the campaign. And before we start, I also want to thank all my patrons. Uh, glad you're uh, enjoying my content and you want to support me um, directly. I really appreciate this. If you are not a patron yet and you want to, have a look at the video description. Also, if you're interested in this game, check out the video description for a link where you get also a special discount on the game. Now, enough with all of that. Go, 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 go. Kingdom of Yalesi is threatened by a conspiracy. The military has captured the king and stripped the council of their power in an act to take full control of the land. While troops all over the country overpower the remaining defenders of the city guard, a main force has been spotted advancing to take the capital and the harbor. In the cover of smoke and the increasing chaos and destruction, a small group of loyal citizens prepares to rescue as many civilians as possible and leave with the last ship to unknown but safer shores. The army has landed in our homeland, Ulessi. Now, all eyes are looking to the envoys to decide what to do next. They begin their journey in search for the guild master. Alrighty, and here we are. We are under attack, Act 1, and we need to find the Guild Master. Security Holding Cells would be my first mission here. And there we have it, Holding Cell. Beautiful graphics, we can see this right away. I really do like the, the art style of this game. Very detailed as well, when you're looking in closer. And let's move actually over here, because I think there is already some, some action waiting for us in this very beginning here. So if you're new to the Settlers, it's basically an RTS. Um, that also focuses a lot on logistics and city building, at least that's been the case in the previous tiles. We don't know really yet um, how this one here is turning out in this regard. And of course, we're going to, to check it out, all of it. Secure the holding cell, number one has been finished. We do get some additional troops here. So some guardians, one of the basic units that we have. We also have some warrior here. The, and these are warriors too, even though they have, yeah, they're healing themselves right now, so it's looking a bit different here. So warriors and guardians we have right now. So I take it the guardians need to move forward, and as we can see, they automatically do this, right, in formation. And that would be our next goal right away, the guild hall. And there's also some fighting waiting for us again. The envoys? Well, I'm glad you are here. We have a lot of work to do. My guild has set up camp next to the harbor, but I was cut off. We need to get as many people to safety as we possibly can. A ship is waiting for us, but we would be lost without the cartographer. Take a few of my men and check up on her house. All right, new mission. We can also collect rewards. I guess we got them. And we continue on with security cartographer. Down here we have them. So by the way, I will also probably want to assign them to different groups. So of course we also have control groups. So number one is my guardians. And number two is my warriors. Ah, and there's more. We have secured the military checkpoint and also now the house here. Ah, we can see that. We do need to defend this point now. There might be some counterattack coming. 
20 seconds it takes us. Oh, and we got a new unit here as well. The Arbalest, skilled ranged units that excel at exploration. And there's the attack coming. And with that, we have also secured the next building. I hid under the bed while the soldiers torched my building. I could barely get out. I grabbed these maps and ran once they left. This isn't much, but everything else I own is burning in that fire over there. Let's move. I don't want to risk them coming back. And we continue onwards. Meet Baldwin and Rina at the temporary headquarters. Down here it is. We can already click on it. Finally. I already feared we had lost you. Soldiers already captured many members of the council. This is madness. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the envoys. So what are we going to do now? The ship has arrived, and my people are getting everything ready to leave. We are already running low on time. But we won't get far without any rations. Yorick's bakery should have more than enough food. Let's get as much as we can and bring it to the ship. I'll leave this to you then. In the meantime, I'll make sure there is enough space for as many people as possible. I'll wait here for you. Just don't be late. I like his outfit. Enemy in sight. Talk to the engineers nearby the temporary headquarters. That's somewhere here. Oh, new units. Engineers. They can actually do something now. They can construct, claim territory, survey the underground for minerals, and also deliver goods. So we need to search for food now uh, at Jorik's Bakery also and pick up bread. Um, I think yes. my engineers will need to do this, right? Of but of course I can take all my, my, my troops just over there. I mean, it's not that many people after all. So let's quickly check it out here. So we don't have any base building yet, uh, as far as I know. You, usually you can build everything here that you see, right? Um, for now, though, in this campaign, we have these missions that we need to follow. And as always, the, the first missions are usually rather simple tutorial missions. But let's have a look at the bakery. I can smell it. I know the family very well. They were very close friends of my father. Now they were forced to leave everything behind, and when the army arrives, this place will be torn down or burnt to the ground. It must be horrible not to be able to save a life's work. Right, also some reward again. We get some 50 bread. Do I need to pick it up now manually, or...? I think we do need to pick it up with our, with our engineers. There it is! And deliver it to the warehouse. But we don't have a warehouse yet. I mean, up here is my warehouse, but I don't think that this is the intention, right? Well, do I need to do this? Let's pick it up. One loaf of bread. Where are you taking it? He's, bre he's definitely delivering it somewhere. There is another warehouse, so I guess this is ours now? It looks like it. it has our same color. And the engineers are doing this. Yes, so let's order all of them to pick up the goods and my other troops just follow along. Ah, there it is. That was actually correct. And update Baldwin and Rina. Well done. This is more than enough food. But we need to protect the harbor and the ship until we are ready to leave. Most of the families are already sitting in the cargo pod. We can't wait any longer. We have to. Please, let's wait a bit longer. There are still more people coming as we speak. We have to leave now. They already cut us off. If we don't get to the ship right now, none of us will go anywhere ever again. I implore you, please. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go. Crossbows ready. And defend the hometown until the ship is ready to sail.
This one here we need to defend. All right. So I guess we are leaving. There is the ship. Oh, really beautiful. That's exactly the kind of graphics I like in winter. Holy moly. Beautiful and warm. And there's our ship waiting. Um, at the moment, we can't really do anything with the harbor. So my troops will just... Yeah, just take position here, I think. For 30 seconds, we need to protect this one now. There's... Fog. Yep. And the engineers bring in the bread at the moment. So we can use it then. All right, there's some attack coming. The watchtower, can it help us? Perhaps we should wait a bit for the watchtower. By the way, what are you doing here? They're just idling around in the sun while there's an enemy force or any enemy attack coming in. Oh, there they. Oh, we really need to pull back there a bit. There, these guys are attacking, all right. They're doing quite a lot of damage too. So my... Oh, uh, where's my guardians? Why are they dead already? No, there they are. Very good. Quite a lot of soldiers. But I think we've done it. At least this attack. Oh, there's more coming. Can I recruit? Would that be possible right now? It doesn't look like... Oh, there's more uh, reinforcements. Lots of them too. I don't need to worry about that, I think. Right, let's get them a bit closer to the to the watchtowers. There it is. So they can do some damage there. Just looks a bit confusing to me that the <laughs> the archers or the, the crossbowmen have shields on their back. But I think it it, is, it makes sense. Protection wise. Next one down. We lost a few buildings there already. We actually lost the tower over there. Didn't even realize it was under attack. My engineers are still getting their bread back and forth, all right. Ah, very good. It was successful. Go to the harbor and escape with the ship. And Victory with that, we have finished ours. the introductory mission to the settlers, and we continue right onwards. Oh, we don't even get rewards out of this one. A new beginning bears the promise of new hope and a life in peace. But the burden of the past events weighs heavily on the people's hearts. All right, we're playing as the Alari, Act 1, New Land Discovered. Why did you force me to leave? Just a little bit longer and we could have saved so many more. It's just not right. We couldn't have done anything different. Waiting any longer would have put the few we saved at risk. Yet we left people behind. Friends, families, children. Doesn't it bother you at all? We lost everything. But those we saved were saved because of you. And they need you. Now everyone expects me to tell them how to continue. I already failed everyone and they still ask me what to do next. See? That's where you're wrong. It's not on you alone to find us a home. We share this burden. All of us. We will find a solution together. How do you think we're going to do this, hmm? There's nothing left. Look around. We have made it this far. Let's find out together. There's a lot of work to do. I need some time to think. In the meantime, you can start to explore the island. Of course. I will leave right away. All right, and there we are now. And now we are going into base building two. Oh my goodness, look at that water. I could definitely take a swim there right now. Let's check it out. We do need to build a few a few things now. So first of all, there is a huge map here in front of us and a huge fog as well. 
and we need to build a sawmill, a logging camp, and a quarry right now. So the logging camp, we got the, the, the wood over there, right? So that's our resources, I think. Oh yeah, and lots up here. So can we actually build something in this area right away? We can also see the quality of its um of its productivity, right? So here it is not that good. Here it is also not that good. But here by the by the wood, it is very good. So here we definitely should then have something like a a lumberjack hut so let's go ahead and build it like that with that we can actually get quite a few trees in and then we also need a sawmill and this one is then of course processing all of that into juicy planks for us uh the warehouse is here and yeah i think we can have it right here so wood is getting delivered then to the sawmill and from there to the warehouse my first production also we definitely should build a road uh, let's have a look this is how we can do it Going then all the way down here to the forest, and there is the connection here with the with the warehouse. And as we can see, my little peons are already moving around, building our first houses. And building a quarry over here, it's actually outside of our territory, from what I can see. But I think we do have some engineers, right? Where are they? Right, first building's completed at least. So there we have it then, our logging camp. There's also some people being assigned to this one now, so two. Um, they're working now, they produce then wood. We could boost them with fish so they uh, produce a bit more, right? This gets over to the sawmill and then we here we can make planks. It actually needs three people. And there's the logs now that we at least had in store already being transported over. So far, so good. Now, meanwhile, I found my engineers. <laughs> They're right here in the, <laughs> the center of it all. Um, we need to really get cracking on some territory expansion, right? We could also construct something. Uh, let's just check it out if I want to build a quarry. As we can see, this is not possible, right? Uh, we do need to claim territory before we can do this. So they are going now over here. And they're going to claim this one. Can use the exercise. And then we have it, hopefully. Our scouts discovered a landmark. Ah, and there's also something coming up. A ruined coal mine would give us some coal if we send engineers to this location. So this one is now under my control, and we can now build the quarry right next to it. Go ahead and do this, and let's also give it a nice road connection. That goes all the way up here. They continue now automatically to expand our territory. Um, I think that's fine for now. I mean, we definitely should make sure that we also know what's over there. Oh, and we, by the way, we do miss a road. So they actually, yep, they do need to have these, these connections then right away. Or they're not working. Ah, look at the details. Beautiful. I should go to the training ground someday. And here we're chopping it down. Do these trees regrow? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, we have more trees over here. Next construction. Come on, show a little enthusiasm. Very detailed construction process. I love that. Beautiful. Careful. Also, there's the road coming along. And the quarry has been finished too. Two people are working on it right away. And they're now cutting down some stone for us. Yep, there's still the road now missing, so there is then the connection, and this road continues onwards then over here, right? So better we have it clear. Oh, uh, I probably should also send some of them down to this area so that we can start claiming that one here too for our building space. There's also something here. These mines have been abandoned, but at least some of the mine shafts seem to be still functional. Some of the mining carts were not emptied. I guess whoever came here to loot the place was in a hurry.
And there is a reward waiting for us. That's the coal. And my engineers, let's take the few that I have to because I don't, of course, want to endlessly um, expand my territory now in this direction. We can actually take it up and they then automatically deliver it now to my warehouse. And these guys definitely could use some running. Let's go ahead. You have a bit of coal to deliver down here. Meanwhile, the other engineers are getting to this area and we can continue happily with a few more buildings. Residences, a place where my people can live. And yeah, well, here by the beach, I think is a good location for this. Let's start with our first residences here in the, in the center. There's only consumers some planks and some stone. And we have plenty of that in stock right now. I can see that this is going to look quite busy in the town when they have so much to do there. Lots of running around, delivering resources. And it looks like the engineers also need to deliver the resources to construction sites. And there's the first house coming up now. Of course, decoration is important. <laughs> and there's the first person now moving out of it. And with that, as we can see, we're now generating um, citizens or settlers out of this one here. Up to a maximum of 75 at the moment. And we can use them for training soldiers and of course manning our industry buildings. When will people stop asking for directions? And there's the the next one coming up. Oh, yeah. Perfect. This is a dead end. So I don't need to worry about that side. But is there something here? No. What's up? That's it. All right. Build a toolmaker and produce some tools. Build a guild hall and recruit some new engineers. Go ahead and do this. First of all, we do need the toolmaker. I think we're going to need those something for that. Yeah. It uses planks and stone to produce tools. All right. This is something we can have. Um, let's have this one right next here to my... We'd also have it here. All right, let's go ahead. The guild hall and the toolmaker we need. Let's have the toolmaker right next to the, the sawmill. And the guild hall, we should be able then to... Hmm. Use somewhere over there. Here, I think it's not possible anymore. I mean, it looks like to me there is... Oh, yeah, there it is possible. Ooh, that is strange. Like this, we could build it, but that would look then away from the main road. Doesn't make sense to me. I guess we're going to have it over here then. Along the beach. Which also really doesn't make that much sense to me. Ah, it doesn't matter for now. The toolmaker is coming along. We should have a road then here. And a connection. And we can then add more houses to this area. It also gets the stone then right up here for my quarry. This needs to be right now. And the next building is finished. And with that, we can now recruit engineers and adventurers, mid-ranged units with special abilities in scouting. Oh, and wood has been depleted. Oh, in those crates here. No, will you look at that? Actually, there is no resources anymore. These trees don't regrow. It also doesn't seem like there is a regrow option, right? So we will probably need to delete this building here again. And in that case, get us something new. A new logging camp. And of course, over here we have plenty of logs available. Let's take this one. I hope there's a way that we can regrow 
the trees, right? I mean, it's it's not that bad for us right now. Oh, look at that stone roads. We could also make the upgrade. Um, right now, it's not that bad, of course, because we open up more building space with that that I can use then. And then we can also recruit the first engineer now. So a normal settler is being consumed for an engineer. And we've also produced the first tools now. Very good. That's how you become an engineer. Now we can advance further inland, so we do have a new mission. And yeah, let's let's risk two of my engineers for that mission. And they are going to move now in here. We'll just see what comes out of it. And the logging camp has also been finished, so supply of logs should be secured. What's up? Find a landmark. Oh, there is something here. A pillaged warehouse. Engineers are searching this location for eight more seconds. I hope there is no attack coming Let's in. Let's get to work. This doesn't look good. Whoever this belongs to must have left in a hurry. All the crates are empty, the doors are smashed in, and it seems as if everything of value has been stolen. I wonder what has happened here. Is there some Got some new rewards, and we need to like like go further inwards, inland, so let's just take some of my engineers here. Asked me to wait right here. And take this one, whatever it is. Oh, stone it is, just like that. Okay, we have plenty of stone. I can almost anything. I sure can use the exercise. Can I carry more? Yes. By the way, plenty of buildings we haven't seen yet. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, the whole military section is locked right at the here. moment. The food production, yeah, hunting cabin, but I haven't seen any, haven't seen any game Where yet. Can I help? Sure can use the exercise. There's something. Light like a feather. Our scouts discovered a landmark. Oh, and there we are under attack. Alright. Just a good thing that I've only sent two of my engineers in. Both of them are dead now. Okay, good to know. So we need to start up building our military now. Build an iron mine and build a coal mine. However, we need to find coal and iron using a mining area, in a mining area. So over there is a mining area, but we don't know what resources are there yet. So I will need to send some engineers over that are going to scout the area then. And also, yeah, we could use my scouts there to quickly go for this area. There's actually another one over here then as well. Put them on a waypoint and then use my engineers to get the resources done that we can find then. Should I recruit a few more? Let's just replenish the two engineers that I've just lost. And since I'm going to need a, a few more people, of course, soon, let's also build us uh, another residence, I guess. Our scouts discovered a landmark. There it is, unsurveyed mining area. And my engineers will go here and survey the land. This survey is interesting. Recruitment complete. What's up? What's While they're doing this, let's also send the other engineers over to this area. If there's a job to do, I can get it done. And there it is, we found some iron over here. However, it's not in my territory yet. Where can I help? So I will probably need to claim it then for myself. Construct. No, you don't need to construct. 
you need to survey still. But they're still serving. Oh, there's still empty spots here, as we can see. Those two. Resources found. Very good. Also, the stone is coming in. And I can now say, claim this territory, please. Can I carry more? And then we need to make the connection. Because right now, if I would like to build it, right? As we can see, we can't do that. And it needs to be within our territory. Alright, they're doing this already. Ah, very interesting. So if I click here and I say, get this territory for me, they will automatically go to the closest border and expand that border to that area. Very good for us, because this makes things a bit easier. Let's also make the same thing for my main group, because we really don't need that much more stone. Uh, we're also serving this one. I'm pretty sure we might find some coal here. Right? And once this is done, we are also expanding over there. So for now, so good. Let's wait for them to finish. Build us a mine. And build us an army. And we do this in the next episode. Stay tuned. Resources found. 